Hi, I'm Philip, and this is my little movie about amoebas. Uh, I have been interested in amoebas ever since I was a kid. These are tiny freshwater critters, uh, and I'm not the only one interested in them. Folks have been interested in them for centuries. Uh, they are the original shapeshifter. Um, Leeuwenhoek, back in the 16th century, found them interesting. Uh, they've been studied in biology classes for centuries. A lot of what we know about the cell, we know from studying the amoeba. Uh, in any case, uh, first we'll just see some pictures of the typical amoebas that I'm looking at. Um, and then I'll show you the pond where I collect them. Uh, some of their feeding habits, and uh, later on, uh, how they divide. Um, welcome to the Amoeba Movie. This is a pond, a backwater really of the Mackenzie River. Uh, it used to be decades ago a ferry, and it's called Ferry Pond. You can see some of the remains of it. It's right here that I get the samples of pond water that has the amoeba in it. Uh, this area, very beautiful area, is part of a conservation project by the Mackenzie River Trust. The area is called Green Island, almost a thousand acres of land in conservation. Uh, this is the setup that I use to film the little amoebas. Uh, the pond water goes into little jars like this, my little samples, and I take a drop of the pond water and I put it on a microscope slide. The microscope is almost a century old. It's a Bosch and Loam. Uh, I inherited it from my father who in the 40s bought it used to put himself through medical school. Um, once I find the little amoebas on the slide, I put this device it's a little $40 Celestron microscope camera and I replace the eyepiece with it and I plug it into my computer and turn on the Mac photo booth program and create the little movies that you see. Here are several little segments that show amoeba eating. The amoeba is really a skillful, stealthy predator. Eats all kinds of things. Um, you'll see several different, uh, uh, several different captures of uh, prey, including one where the amoeba captures a fairly large paramecium, and it struggles for a full nine minutes uh, before it's finally subdued and basically digested to death.
Here's a couple of shots uh, very close up of the interior of the amoeba. You can see all the crystalline structures um, that are probably remnants of foods and leftover proteins and carbohydrates and uh, so forth from the food that it's eaten. And in the second close-up, you can see the oval translucent nucleus. One evening recently, my wife and I were able to watch uh, one of the amoebas divide and turn into two. The whole process took about a half an hour, and so the little clips give you uh, a look at what was going on with the cell uh, several minutes apart. Oh my gosh. What? Come quick. Wow. They were by they were string? still they were still connected. The string just broke. Wow. That's like Michelangelo and God. Mm -hmm. I believe that I'm actually getting uh, two species of uh, large freshwater amoeba in my samples. Uh, in this particular clip, you see both of them in comparison. Uh, one of them uh, has finer grains, is uh, a little bit, uh, the pseudopods are a little larger. Um, in any case, here's a look at the two different species.